Tracy Tong is next. She has a heartbreaking story of a blind woman from Sudbury now stuck in Toronto after being robbed by someone who she was trying to help. Tracy. That's right, Ken. Someone she met on the bus ride over from Sudbury to, to Toronto had gained her trust and asked for help. Not knowing hours later, she would lose all of the money that she had to cover expenses for medical appointments, buy Christmas presents for her two grandsons, and to get back home to Sudbury. I had $800 in there. She took my money. This woman we are calling Sally says all of her savings have been stolen. Sally, who was blind, took a bus from Sudbury to Toronto last night for medical appointments. She befriended a woman on the bus who asked to come back with her to her hotel. She was going to make phone calls to places that where she could stay, to find a place to stay. And then if not, if she, could, she has to stay here, and I told her she could. Sally says the woman then left her hotel room, telling her she was just going to the vending machines. And when the woman didn't return, that's when she started getting suspicious. Just seemed weird. Then I went and checked my jacket, my wallet. All my money was gone. Well, my mom's sitting in Toronto with nothing. Her daughter, back in Sudbury, says she normally travels with her mother for bi-weekly medical appointments. This is the second time she went alone. It's heartbreaking that someone would rob a blind woman, and like I just, I wish that upon nobody. Police are now investigating. Uh, they are reviewing the security camera images of the hotel. As well, they're going to go to the bus terminal as well as the bus to see if they can actually get a description of this woman. <laughs> it wasn't right when she did. That was nice. Sally now doesn't even have enough money for a bus ticket home. She's warning others with her story to prevent them from being targeted too. Now the alleged theft happened here at the Comfort Inn in North York. Police are asking anyone who has information on the suspect to contact them or Crime Stoppers. Meanwhile, Sally's family has started a GoFundMe page to help recover some of the stolen funds and to help Sally get back home. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Tong. Zoraida, back to you.